Jersey City Council unanimously condemns Governor Chris Christie and the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection for the unveiled report, The Future of Liberty State Park, a report that proposes commercialization and privatization. The park is the only active passive space for tens of thousands of Jersey City residents um, that is <coughs> within a reasonable distance from their home. And the constant attempt of the state of New Jersey to try and commercialize it is absolutely wrong. It's not fair. Um, you know, starting back with um, President Teddy Roosevelt, the, this country decided that it was important to take beautiful, unique pieces of land and preserve it for the residents of this country. Um, New Jersey State did that. Um, under the, the, the pushing uh, the peasant family to preserve Liberty State Park, it needs to continue as Liberty State Park. Um, and I strongly encourage the state government to reverse any thoughts they have for what they're going to do with Liberty State Park. I vote off. I'll just echo what the Congressperson on the board said. So, Liberty State Park, uh, crown jewel of our park system, um, visited by hundreds of thousands of people, millions annually. Um, we've had our Tough mutter there, 4th of July, a major events. It's a huge attraction, not just uh, for Jersey City residents um, and, a, and an oasis for, for Jersey, Jersey City residents, but it's an attraction to New Jersey and beyond. Um, it's a, it's a, a national attraction in many, in many regards. And so people coming long, long and far to visit, um, to see uh, Liberty State Park, and, um, and we should do everything we can to protect it for um, for its passive use and for uh, the enjoyment of uh, the community of Jersey, which has so little um, open space and grid space. So uh, I applaud you, Sam Pesson, the Friends of the Lowe's, and your coalition for the work that you're doing. Um, I want you to know we stand with you and, um, and let the governor know and that uh, we're going to fight this every step of the way and there'll be no privatization at Liberty State Park. I vote that. Sam Pesson, the founder of Friends of Liberty State Park and also son of Morris Pesson, a man who has helped build Liberty State Park, thanks City Council and Mayor Fuller for all their efforts. Uh, I do want to say thank you to you all for standing up in this vote for Liberty State Park. Uh, Mayor Fuller has been with us in the last year on the front lines of this battle. As the council president mentioned, there is now a coalition to save Liberty State Park with 40 organizations from the city and the state. And we have a website, savelsp.org, with a petition. Uh, and the Coalition to Save Liberty State Park, that title has been used many times before because as Councilman Osborne mentioned, there have been many attempts to commercialize the park. And the good news about the park is that the people have always stood up, put democracy into practice, and fought for a free park behind the Statue of Liberty, and the people are ready to fight again. The governor's wrong to want Liberty Park to pay for itself. The park serves the public good. As uh, Councilwoman Waterman mentioned to the student leader, uh, this is about fighting for what's right, fighting, fighting the good fight. And the park is sacred land, it's priceless land, it's our green sanctuary in this crowded region. Pesson also mentioned that on the Friends of Liberty State Park website, there's a 10-page opposition on Governor Christie's commercialization and privatization plan. Hudson County View, the eye of the community.